Well, I'm delighted now to be joined by Jim Bridenstine from NASA. Jim, thank you for joining us. Well, thank you, Sam. It's great to be here. Well, this week is not only an important week because it's IAC, but it's also a very special week for NASA because it's your 60th anniversary. You must be feeling really pleased about that. It is. NASA is now 60 years old as of just a few days ago. We got to celebrate it right here at the IAC. I uh, had a wonderful time doing so. And uh, you think back at the history of, of what NASA is and what NASA has done, uh, going back to the Apollo era and putting people on the surface of the moon, six missions, uh, 12 different people walked on the surface of the moon, uh, an, an amazing achievement. But what we're doing today is we're working really hard uh, to make it international, to get all of our international partners to collaborate on new and even more amazing, stunning achievements. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be here to celebrate our history and to think about what the future holds. So is that your main focus then, collaboration? And if so, why is it so important? So collaboration is a main focus, but really my, uh, my charge from the president under Space Policy Directive 1 is to get to the moon. And when he said we, he wants to go to the moon, he said he wants to go to the moon sustainably. In other words, we're not going to leave flags and footprints and come home not to go back for another 50 years. He wants to create an architecture where we can go back and forth to the surface of the moon over and over and over again. The only way we can make that happen, and I think this is the important reason uh, it's, so, it, it's so critical that we have international collaboration, um, we have to have international partners. We cannot do this alone. So we need international collaborators and we need commercial partners, which is something that uh, in many cases didn't even exist five or ten years ago. We now have partners in the commercial sphere that can sell us services and capabilities without NASA purchasing, owning, and operating systems. So between our international partners and commercial operations, um, I think that achieving a sustainable architecture to the moon is a, is a very real possibility soon. And as you said, um, collaboration is vital. How important is the IAC uh, it's an annual event in, in providing that? Uh, it's, it's an, this is an amazing venue. And the reason it's so amazing is because there's so many young folks here that are enthusiastic and there's government officials here that are seeing how enthusiastic the young community is not just about space exploration, but international collaboration and going further than we've ever gone before. So to be here at this venue with all of these young and inspired, uh, enthusiastic folks, to, to, to be with their elected representatives from various governments around the world and the heads of all the space agencies in one spot, um, this is really a forum that is really, it's unlike any other. And it gives us an opportunity to build that coalition necessary to accomplish these big objectives. And of course, the baton is going to be handed over to you because IAC 2019 is in DC next yes, year. Yes, yes. What it's, are your hopes for that? It's, uh, you know, it, that's a big order because this has been an amazing IAC. Um, right here in Bremen, Germany, uh, there's 6,300 registrants. If you can imagine, that's a lot of people descending on, on one venue for the purpose of collaborating on space activity. Um, Jean-Yves has uh, charged us next year when it's in Washington DC uh, to have 10,000 people show up. Now <laughs> we're going to do everything we can to make that happen. Uh, I think we can achieve that milestone and, uh, and we need everybody who's watching this to sign up. We need them to come. Uh, but I, I, I guarantee that if you come it will be worth it. You will learn a lot um, and certainly it will be an opportunity uh, to collaborate and talk to so many different folks from all around the world that are enthusiastic about activities in space. Jim, that sounds fantastic. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Sam. Enjoy the rest of the Congress and we'll see you next year. Okay, thank you.